Friday everyone. So, so far today all I've filmed is some morning light on a cactus which is lovely. It is now 6 o'clock in the evening. Today I have announced what I'm going to be doing in terms of Vlogtober which is very exciting. Um, I'm not going to do it the same as last year so I'm not going to be doing a video every day but I'll be doing a video every other day. Today also marks, because it is Wednesday 3rd of October, 30 days until my 30th birthday, which is on the 2nd of November. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna try and do 30 things before 30, whatever they are. Things that I haven't got around to doing before I was 30 that I wanted to do and have like an activity filled month. So that is what I'm gonna do. I announced it on Instagram today because I wanted some suggestions. Some people have suggested like skydiving, which I feel I won't be able to organize in a month, but there are a few things on my list that I will be going through every day. First one on my list is to write an arc article that would be published in a magazine and the lovely Alice who I interviewed for You Go Girl, I think it was episode two, You Go Girl's episodes are still coming. The person that used to film my videos for me has actually moved on to a new job so I basically need to find a new camera person, if you know anyone let me know, <laughs> to help me film because I can't film on my own. Um, as well as interview the people so that's just one thing that I need to sort out but they are still coming I do have one that we've already filmed that I just need two bits of footage for and then that will be done which is very exciting so another one will be coming out this month Alice who I interviewed for I think it was my third episode has actually is starting her own magazine which is super exciting anyway I'll put the links down below to the Instagram account and everything like that but she has asked me to write an article for it which is really exciting and I've never written um, an article apart from obviously blog posts that have been that's been published in print which is super exciting i am just writing that i'm also at the moment which has kind of also inspired me i'm reading dolly alderton's book which is all the things i know about love it's really good if you haven't read it i would really recommend it i also listen to her podcast which is the high low um which she does with pandora sykes and they are both very good together yeah so i am just finishing reading that but she is a journalist i probably should have said that first that's the link between me writing an article and reading her book so basically Basically the article will be about um, the reason why I started You Go Girl and kind of like what inspired me to do it, why I decided to do it um, and all that kind of stuff. So I will obviously tell you guys when that is live or printed, it won't be live, it will be printed which is pretty cool. That's what I'm doing at the moment and that is my first thing, my, one, my first thing on my 30 under 30 is to write an article that will be published somewhere other than my blog. The sun sets in like three minutes. I think it'll be fine to run though, it's pretty clear. That is bay drinking. Yep, limber up, Louie. We're going for a run. It's like literally last of the sun. I'm just walking because I'm a little bit out of breath and I'm about to come to a hill, which is, I would like to call Vomit Hill. Um, but I'm literally chasing the sun though, it's not that much sun left. But yeah, it's really nice temperature though. It's not cold. Look at all those trees we chopped down. I'm guessing it's for a good thing. But look at that, so many. It's so dark now, and it's so red in here now. <laughs> Run done. It was a bit disappointing. One, I ran on Strava with it on cycle instead of run. <laughs> so none of my steps are right, which is like, if it didn't record on Strava, did I actually run? And then I also got a phone call halfway through the run saying that a courier was outside our front door which I knew nothing about. Um, and so then I had to run back. The courier was like, are you okay for us to leave it outside the door? And I'm like, yes, that's fine. And then I got worried because he worried me. He was like, okay, well, it's your responsibility. I'm like, that's fine. And I got back and the package was here. Yeah, so it's just all really off-putting. I mean, I'm glad that I ran, but I just fell a little bit. It wasn't my best run. Um, yeah. But I've got some really good suggestions on the old... Um, on the old Instagram though, which is quite interesting. Um, lots of people are saying skydive and I have just googled skydiving and um, you can go somewhere and do it for £199 and I always thought it was like 700 quid, which is obviously £199 is still a lot of money, but I am tempted. I have always wanted to skydive. I'm still waiting. Someone suggested cooking a three course meal for all of my friends, which is quite nice. Quite like that. I was so tempted to order pizza this evening. However, we've gone from HelloFresh to Mindful Chef because I feel like it's a little bit, you can pick on Mindful Chef things that are like lower carbs um, or better carbs. 
I don't know. Um, but the recipes seem a little bit cleaner and less like cream filled and carb filled than um, HelloFresh. Last week we didn't get around to actually eating any of it. So I resisted the frozen pizza that is in the freezer. <laughs> and cooked myself some like cod and kind of couscous. I am proud of myself though because I was so tempted to cook that pizza. I'm just watching Ozark. Then I'm gonna have a bath and go to bed. I'm quite tired but I've had a really good day today. Good morning everyone. Day two of me filming 30 things before 30. A lot of people are saying skydiving and I did look into it last night and I think I might try and organise it and see if I can get it done in October because it is something that I've always wanted to do. I am currently in a field <laughs> walking the dogs and then Steve and I are going to go and see his new office in Hove which is really exciting. I really miss you this morning. It's really nice though. It's my favourite time of year. Autumn. It's not so cold that you have to wear a coat but it's still kind of like crisp in the mornings and stuff so yeah i am just enjoying a walk and trying not to lose bay which is always a good thing when you don't lose bay in the morning <laughs> so i may have looked at my phone for a minute and i think bay has escaped into garson's farm which is like the fruit and vegetable farm near the field that we walk in and now she is no longer here I haven't got time for this today. Bluey, where is she? This guy is like my shadow and I keep thinking that I've lost him. Ah, I can see her. Oh my gosh, I can see my dog. She's so naughty. I've literally just watched her run across the pumpkin field. Hello. Oh, she's stuck. She's stuck. What are you doing? Where have you been? You're done now, are you? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Bagel. A note to anyone thinking of getting a pointer. <laughs> Train them. <laughs> she's really well trained in the house. And she's normally all right. But some days she'll just decide to piss off. <laughs> and go and get a squirrel. <laughs> and that apparently was today. So now we're going to head back after our literally hour walk. <laughs> Okay, so today has mainly consisted of going over to my friend Lydia's house and helping her prepare for her daughter Hetty's birthday party on Sunday, which I managed to rope in my friend Daisy and I to be Anna and Elsa from Frozen, or appear as Anna and Elsa from Frozen at the party, which is one of my 30 under 30s because I've never appeared at a children's birthday party as a Disney princess, so I will be ticking off one of my 30 under 30s on Sunday. What's quite funny is my friend Daisy, she was like, you said yes, and I didn't even, I didn't even agree to it. You didn't even like chat to me about it. So yeah, so I just went over there today to try on the costumes, which fits very nicely, they're lovely. And how, well, then I ended up helping Lydia, because I love a bit of craft, um, making these little Olaf lunch bags. I thought I would share with you, that is blue just wandering in the background. I'm doing a blog post in conjunction with Debenhams. This isn't sponsored. Basically, Debenhams got in contact with me and said, oh, we're doing like an autumn winter um, campaign. And they, so they've gifted me some clothes in return for a blog post basically but I thought I'd share with you so they just they gave me a voucher to use online and I actually ordered this at eight o'clock yesterday evening at Steve's new office and um, it arrived at like 11 o'clock this morning so the first thing which reminds me of um, is it the low jigsaw bag or puzzle bag so this one is Ferelli and it's like I think they call it a bowling bag and basically it's like a scrunchy little black handbag which is really nice. Basically I've got like shoulder bags um, which are like small little holiday travel bags because I've got that aura key bag but I don't have a bag that I can like chuck everything in during the day and it will like go over my shoulder but it also fits quite a lot in. Um, so it looks like that on the inside and they've got like a little inside pocket a bit for your phone. I also thought this pocket at the front would be really good for... Um, 
stick in your phone or your wallet in the front so it's kind of like easily accessible but it looks like this i just think it looks a little bit i don't know how to pronounce the name but it looks a little bit like that puzzle bag and you can obviously hold it like this or have it across your shoulder which i think is really nice so it was pretty chuffed when i found that because obviously i cannot afford the other <laughs> designer bag that's what i get so this i think these are the boots are these the boots oh <gasps> yes, the boots okay so these brown boots are j by jasper conran they do them in black and they do them in bright red but they're sold out in black in my size so i decided that i would go and try something different and try a brown boot just because i think that i would still wear them and i've got quite a few black boots at the moment but i don't have like a really smart um brown boot these are 85 pounds but I've, i wear boots to death in autumn and winter um and i just thought they were a really nice kind of like cool um, boot that you could wear out to like drinks with your friends and they've still got a bit of a heel but you could wear it during the day as well so i hope these fit let me just try let me just try one on um also i'm really sorry there is like packages all over the lounge okay oh yes thing is i'm a four and a half right they look like this oh they're really nice um i'm a four and a half but i always go i always size down to a four because um, fives are just a little bit too big for me. When I was a teenager, I always went for a size five and I realized that half of my teenage shoes were half a size too big for me. So um, yeah, now I size down, but they're really nice. Also they go like, because they've got the black there, they go really nicely with black. Um, I'm in like a no makeup slouchy clothes day. Let me see. I'm quite happy with the brown actually. I think it's a little bit different. Um, it almost makes them look a little bit vintagey because like nowadays everything's quite black. They are £85 but I feel like, I feel like with a boot, like I bought boots from Cos and they've been like £110 but I wear them like season after season. Um, yeah and they're really nice kind of like croc effect leather and they smell like leather. Um, and then this one which I'm quite excited about. You know the trend that's like teddy coats? I think they're called teddy coats. Um, I was looking through all of the ones on the Debenhams website and I I decided on a kind of like actual tan colour because I thought it would be a bit more interesting. I've obviously got black coats, which it's literally like you are a teddy bear. Hello. My problem is I'm quite sure try this so this is red herring which i think is only a brand on debenhams on the debenhams website and it's 69 pounds which is quite good for a coat oh it's so soft on the inside okay oh okay so it looks like this i quite like it i'm worried it makes me look a bit bulky but i think because i've got a bulky um a bulky thing on that's my phone i'm gonna shoot a blog post this weekend um for it and then it'll be up on my blog next week i'm really happy with those i think i'm happiest with the bag and the boots um but i am super chuffed by the coat i think i'm gonna try the coat on when i'm not wearing like folded sleeves like this it's quite nice when a brand approaches you and says would you like to pick some items because they're items that i would have picked anyway if that makes sense 30 things before 30 is going well however i think i'm overestimating or underestimating i think i'm underestimating the amount of time it's actually going to take me to do everything all of the 30 things are under 30. so like some of them are really like little like obviously like the children's birthday party entertainment will be really funny on sunday and that's little but it's going to be funny it's going to be something that i haven't done before um i'm getting a new piercing next friday which is very exciting i managed to convince my brother's girlfriend kelly and my mum to come along with me so they're also going to get piercing so group piercing in the family and then on um this weekend i'm gonna have to start doing stuff i think on sundays i'm just gonna have to plan it out and like do double things like i really want to go on the um orbital like helter skelter which is like part of the olympic park basically i think i've underestimated how much time it's going to take me to do everything i'm going to attempt it i think i'm going to have to be doing some like two for ones in some of the days otherwise i'm just not going to make it I spent all day yesterday at steve's new office which is very exciting just hung out with everyone there which is really nice 
um, I didn't really feel like I needed to vlog. Also, I was on my computer doing other stuff on other work. I will catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> Oh, every time. 